welcome back to my channel for another video so in today's video i will be showing you guys how i um customized this frontal wig to my liking and it is my very first frontal wig y'all so let me know if i did a good job on customizing it because your girl was struggling especially on the baby hairs part y'all know that i cannot do baby hairs to save my life i don't know if you guys saw like my previous video where i was um showing you guys how i customized my closure but your girl was struggling and i was struggling in this video as well so but i got it i got it together real quick um, this wig is a wig that I got from AliExpress uh, from this company called Jazz Hair. Um, it is a 13 by 6 frontal wig. It's Brazilian straight and the density is 150. Um, the wig came in a natural color but I did dye this hair jet black because I like all of my hair to be jet black. And I switched it from a middle part to a side part because I wanted to try a side part on the, a bob because usually when I wear a bob it's always in the middle part so I went ahead and shifted it to the side and I made it into a side part um I'm trying to see what else if I'm forgetting to say something um this wig also did come pre-plucked and it also came with baby hairs and that saved me a lot of time because I'm not a professional and with this I'm still learning this wig life and this wig stuff so that saved your girl a lot of time. So I just went, I didn't do nothing with the um with the baby hairs. I didn't cluck it. I didn't do anything. I just uh went ahead and just created my baby hairs, like swooping it and stuff, but I did not cut it. I well I did cut it a little bit, but I didn't like create like the um I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how to say what I'm trying to say, but I didn't do anything to the hairline of the frontal wig because it was already pre-plucked and it already was like, they already came with baby hair so I really didn't have to do too much with that. I just went ahead and swooped it right on in and that's how I got, you know, this look. But if you guys want to see how I customize this wig to my liking, stay tuned in and keep watching and I will see you guys in my next video. So before we start the wig application, I wanted to show you guys what the wig is looking like. This is the wig right here. Um, it's from this company on AliExpress called Jazz Star. I got their um, 150 density bob lace front wig. It's a Bra Brazilian hair. Um, it was a middle part, but I switched it to a side part because I wanted to try. I've never, every time I get a bob, it's always a middle part. So I wanted to do like a side part this time. And um, you know, it's my first time wearing a lace front too. So I wanted to, you know, I'm trying to switch it up and do different stuff now so with the lace it is a 13 by 6 on the lace and then the combs there's two combs in the front of the wig and then there's one comb in the back and it also comes with the adjustable uh, strap in the back of the wig so um i went ahead and dyed my hair last night i also bleached the knot so and I've already kind of like, I've already molded the hair as well. So you guys are just going to be seeing the, how I applied this wig on my head. So we're going to go on to the next part of the video. And I, the rest of the video is just going to be a voiceover. Okay, y'all. My cap is on. I don't know why my back braid, like the middle braid was sticking up like that. Um, because it really does not even look like that. But whatever. They got me on, my braid got me on here looking like one of those characters from the cone head. But whatever we gonna get on to with this uh video so uh for my adhesive i don't like to use wig glue usually whenever i wear my wigs and stuff i just like to use the got to be glue and the free spray so i'm gonna use the same technique here i'm gonna put two layers down i'm only doing two i'm doing two layers because this is a frontal so i'm gonna do i'm doing one side first and i'm going down and put the other side uh putting some on the other side I'm getting a little tongue tied and I'm gonna, once that one, you know, kind of dries a little bit, I'm gonna go on top of it with another layer of the gel. And then once I'm done with that, I will go on top of it, top of that with the free spray. So that's what I'm doing here. And like I said, I'm a beginner. Uh, frontals are new to me. So I don't know anything about the ball cap method, nor am I trying to do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep doing what's, what's easy for me. Because hair is not my forte. I know how to finesse some hair, but hair is not my forte. Makeup is my thing. So, yeah. Now I'm going in with my blow dryer. Y'all gonna have to excuse my blow dryer because I have paint all over it. So, I'm just gonna go. I'm going on top of the glue with the blow dryer so it can get a little bit tacky. Now I'm gonna pull the wig all the way up to my forehead. And I'm gonna put it down. Um, I do have a forehead. So, you know, I try to keep a little bit of my forehead out. I ain't trying to 
bring my wig all the way down to my eyebrows or nothing like that so yeah now i'm pressing in the wig with my red tail comb and i'm gonna use my fingers to kind of just press it down into the glue and everything So now I'm just going to tie my hair with this satin scarf and I'm going to let that sit for about 10 minutes and I'm going to come back. So now that, now that it's done, I'm taking it off and you guys you can see that the wig has fully dried onto my uh, scalp and my, uh, my head. Now I'm just kind of combing the hair out a little bit. Uh, trying to calm all that glue out and stuff y'all gonna see me go in with the cotton ball with alcohol and I'm gonna remove all of that residue off of my forehead Now that I've kind of like sectioned off my hair, I am going to go through my hair with this flat iron that I bought from the beauty spot store about a couple of months ago because uh, my mom took my other flat iron. So I had to buy myself another one. And this one, you know, gets pretty hot and I really like it. So I'm just using that to flat iron my hair. I did kind of did like all my other customization like the night before, like I uh, dyed it jet black. I bleached the knots and everything, and um, I w actually watercolored this hair. I co-washed it, kind of deep conditioned it a little bit, let it sit in some conditioner. And I molded the hair too into a side part because it did come with the middle part, so I actually I made it into a side part instead. I always wear my middle, like my bobs in a middle part, so I figured like, you know, let me, you know, let me switch it up. And do like a side part bob and see how it, you know, how it come out. And I actually really like the way it came out. So, yeah. I'm just going to flat iron the other side of the wig. I like to flat iron my hair in portions. Even when I was, like when my hair was fully relaxed, I used to flat iron my own hair in portions. So, it's kind of the technique that I, the same technique that I used to do on my hair. So I do one side, then I do the other side, and then I do like the top portion of my head towards the front. Let me know down in the comment section how I did with my first frontal application, you guys. I mean, I could use tips because I'm not perfect. I'm just a beginner. Um, yeah, let me know how I did. And let me know any tips on how I could improve as well. So she is coming together you guys i'm really liking the way the wig is coming out um she is really cute she real cute y'all real 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 cute i'm gonna call her trishelle trishelle and i'm so serious putting a little bit of mousse in the back so that little lump can lay down 
and I'm just kind of combing it through and I'm just gonna flip my hair over and I'm gonna pin it out the way so we can get to the part that <laughs> gives me a hard time of these baby hairs y'all it took me about 30 minutes to create these baby hairs but I got it together I got it together And I did not pluck this frontal because the wig already kind of came, it already came pre-plucked and it came with some baby hairs of its own. So I did not pluck this frontal because I would have been struggling for another hour trying to pluck this frontal because I, I don't know, I don't have time for this stuff. Like <laughs> I'm not the best with plucking either. So we would have been here forever and I didn't want to make this video extremely long and I didn't want to mess up the wig. So I did not bother to pluck the frontal wig to it's for me. It was, it was okay. So I just left it the way it was. So I think if I was to cut like my baby hairs shorter and not like keeping it like I guess too long or long or medium or whatever if I cut them really short it's easier for me to do it that way yeah I think that's what it is I really think that's what it is because when I had cut it when I cut it a lot shorter than what it was it didn't give me too much of a headache so I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. I don't know what I was jamming to, but I think I was listening to some African music. I was getting my daily dose in because, you know, I try to I try to keep in tune with my roots because I am African. So I try to get my daily dose of African music in every day because African music is lit. So we just gotta move on to the other side. I am sorry if my camera seemed like it's shaking. Chanel just kept bumping her little big self into my camera, so excuse that. So now I'm going on top of that with my got to be glue gel to reinforce the baby hair so that it is not moving around and stuff so yeah and I'm just kind of brushing that product into the baby hairs now I'm going to tie this down I'm about to beat this face and I will be back okay Okay, y'all, so this is what the wig is looking like now that I am done um, customizing it to my liking and laying down my edges. And of course, my face is beat. I could not do this hair look without doing the makeup look. So I did record this look as well. So, but this is, you know, this is what the hair is looking like. I really, really like the hair, y'all. I forgot to mention that this hair do come pre-plucked and it already comes with like baby hairs. Um, yeah, so that kind of saved me time because I'm not the best at like creating baby hairs nor plucking them. So, you know, that saved me some time. But I really, really like this hair, y'all. The hair is soft. It has a lot of body. It's not like stiff or anything. It's like, it's just, it has a lot of body. 
and it just gives me like you know it gives me grown woman vibes you know i'm really liking this bob like <sighs> this bob is really cute and of course like the hair is jet black because i dyed it jet black like i use the revlon um the Revlon box dye and then I used some other dye from the Beauty Spot store. It has like, it's, I think it was blue black, blue black. So I used two of the Revlon box dyes and the other one was blue black or whatever. But so this is what the, you know, the dye looked like. And I did watercolor for the first time. So it came out really good for me to be doing it for my first time. So yeah, um, I hope you guys like this bob. And if y'all do like this bob, I will like link the um, hair down in the description box so y'all can check it out. And you know, be looking good too for uh, summer 2020. So yeah, um, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Please do not leave without subscribing and liking the video. And I will see you guys next time. Mwah.